Well, after a full season of playing in empty arenas, the PC Friars, Providence Bruins, and Rhodey Rams are really looking forward to playing in front of live crowds again. The dunk, as we see here, mm -hmm. allowed fans back in for the first time this past Saturday. That was for a Pete Bruins preseason game. Yes, there are new rules in place for anyone going to both the dunk or the Ryan Center, and some new job opportunities at both venues. 12 News anchor Patrick Little has the details. Last year at this time, the Dunkin' Donuts Center looked a lot different. People weren't going to games or concerts. It was a place to go get tested for COVID-19. Now the floor is once again covered by ice as the Providence Bruins get ready for their home opener Friday, October 16th. Yeah, we're very excited about reopening. Uh, this is what the building was intended for, is to bring people in and help the economy around, the, the restaurants and hotels and all the small businesses in, in Providence. <laughs> The PC Friars, they'll be back at the dunk for the first time in front of fans since March 7th of 2020 on Thursday, October 21st for a preseason game against Stonehill. So fans will be back, but with new guidelines. In both cases, with the Friars and with the pre-Bruins, uh, the Department of Health has asked uh, to work together with them to uh, ask our patrons to wear masks at the events. They have not asked us to check vaccine cards or to come with a COVID test or anything of that nature, but they will be asked to wear masks. Concession stands will be open as normal and both cash and credit cards will be accepted. The Dunk and Department of Health also offering an incentive when you attend select events. An exciting option that we're, uh, we're working closely with the Department of Health with. You will have the opportunity when you come here to test if you'd like. Uh, we also will have the opportunity if you have not received your vaccine. Uh, we will have people distributing those as well. Uh, so you can get your vaccine if you come to a game. And if you're looking for part-time work... We are uh, not unlike many of the businesses in the tourism and, and hospitality areas trying to find folks to, to fill positions. We have security uh, positions, we have ushers, uh, and others working the concessions that we need help. At URI, the Ryan Center all dressed up and ready to welcome back basketball fans. The first game here, Thursday, November 4th. Alexandra Gamara. The first event with people inside the building, though, was last weekend. It's been wonderful. We just opened up this past weekend. I, we were honored enough to have our first full arena event back, uh, being URI Class of 2020 commencement ceremonies. Leah Becky is the general manager of the Ryan Center and the Boss Ice Arena. So we are, we can go full capacity. We do have a mask requirement in line with the entire university uh, buildings. A uh, mask must be worn while you're in the facility. Concession stands are fully open at the Ryan Center as well. Both cash and credit cards are accepted. I think back to our very last event here, which was a 9 p.m. men's basketball game versus Dayton. Number three in the country they were at that time. And this place was going crazy. I mean, we are going to be back there. And just like at the Dunkin' Donuts Center, the Ryan Center also looking for part time help. We are hiring. You know, through this process, we had to furlough some people during that time. I was lucky enough to be able to bring back all those positions. And we are just about fully staffed for our full time staff, but we have a need for part time staff. So come on out, join our great team. We have a lot of fun here. <laughs> Keep in mind, rules and guidelines at both buildings could change depending on COVID case numbers. Mobile ticketing also being phased in now. And grab-and-go concessions are being offered for those who prefer a little less contact. Yeah, check the arena's websites prior to attending any event to make sure nothing has changed with those rules and restrictions.